All right, it is finally time. Chapter 3 of the Star Wars 2020 comic is here, and Chapter 2 left us on a huge cliffhanger where a hooded figure that we couldn't tell who it was caught Luke's lightsaber after Vader chopped off his hand in Cloud City, and hopefully this chapter gives us some information on who that person is, so let's get right into it. We start off this chapter with the Rebels having their vessel destroyed in battle by the Empire. And in this battle, a Star Destroyer takes some damage, which prompts Lieutenant Gore to suggest that since there is no more battle at the current moment, the crew of Imperials should try and repair the ship after the damages it just took. The commander of that ship, Commander Zara, lets him know that that idea is foolish because this ship is one of the last remaining relics of the Death Star that was destroyed and it doesn't need to be fixed as it is a memorial to the Death Star and all of its victims. She then explains how lucky the Rebellion was to destroy the Death Star in the first place and blames Leia Organa for the demise of the Death Star and promises to capture her and kill Leia herself. Now, we find ourselves with Luke, Leia, and Lando on the way to get Luke's lightsaber after Vader chopped off his hand on Cloud City. Lando assures Luke that the lightsaber will still be in Cloud City and boasts his knowledge of the city since he owns it. And then we immediately find ourselves in a typical Lando Calrissian situation where the guards of the city tell them that they are forbidden to enter the city and to set their course away from the city or to be shot down. Lando sweet talks his way with the guards while Luke flies them close enough to where Lando can shut down the turrets leading to the city with some gadget that he has on his wrists. Immediately after landing, Lando knows they don't have much time and immediately they come in contact with stormtroopers who control the city under imperial control. Lando continues to flex the power he has over the city with his wrist gadget and makes quick work of the stormtroopers. All three of our heroes have separate missions once inside Cloud City and they all split up while Luke is accompanied by R2-D2. Leia looks mysterious as she continues on her mission and as Luke gets closer to where him and Vader fought, he starts having flashbacks of their encounter which makes him feel very uneasy. Leia reaches the area where Han was turned into Carbonite while Lando finds Labot hooked up to many wires to his implants which are located on his head and once again he flexes the wrist gadget which helps Lando move onward. After Lando disconnects Labot from the city's central processing core, the Imperial notice something is up and begin to panic. We find out that Tabana gas is leaking into the city and could cause a chemical reaction and contaminate the whole Empire supply which would make Cloud City useless to the Empire. Leia is caught and quickly knocked out by stormtroopers who realize she is not an Ognaught which stops her mission which was already unclear to us from the beginning. Lando is then found by stormtroopers and contacts Luke who is in a mishap with R2-D2 who got him in the wrong area on his own mission so he is not able to come to Lando's aid at the current moment. The stormtroopers contact back that they captured a possible rebel. The stormtroopers then talk about how freezing prisoners in Carbonite was Vader's idea and make it much easier to handle the prisoners and before we know it, just like the love of her life Han Solo, Princess Leia is frozen in Carbonite and that brings us to the end of chapter 3 of this series. Now I am a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see who the hooded figure who caught Luke's lightsaber was in this chapter. I feel like for them to end chapter 2 with that and not to reveal that in this chapter was very very disheartening. But I do like this mysterious you know, things that are going on with each of these characters. Like, I really want to know why Leia was in that carbonite freezing area to begin with. And then what happened with Luke. And hopefully in the next chapter we find out who took that lightsaber. Because that's why we all were really, really interested in this chapter. Left us on a cliffhanger. And then this whole next chapter was another big cliffhanger. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you like this short summary of chapter three of the Star Wars 2020 comic, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, and may the force be with you.